Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Family Radio now invites you to join us for our Family Bible Reading Fellowship as we read together from God's Word, the Bible. Here to seek the face of Him who alone has been our help in ages past, and who alone is our hope for years to come. Join us now for our Family Bible Reading Fellowship. Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and empty, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved on the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided between the light and the darkness, and God called the light day, and he called the darkness night, and the evening and morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be an expanse in the middle of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the expanse and divided the waters which were under the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse, and it was so. And God called the expanse heaven, and the evening and morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and he called the gathering together of the waters seas. And God saw that it was good, and God said, Let the earth bring forth tender sprouts, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth tender sprouts, and the herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit after its kind, whose seed was in itself. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to divide between the day and the night. And let there be for signs, and for seasons, and for days and years and let them be for lights in the expanse of the heavens, to give light upon the earth. And it was so, and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the smaller light to rule the night, and the stars also. And God set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light upon the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to divide between the light and the darkness. And God saw that it was good, and the evening and morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that has life, and the fowls that fly over the earth in the open expanse of the heavens. And God created great sea animals, and every living creature that moves, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures after its kind, cattle and creeping things, and each animal of the earth after its kind, and it was so. And God made the animal of the earth after its kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creeps upon the earth after its kind, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. And so God created man in his own image. In the image of God he created them. He created them male and female. And God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and fill the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God said, Behold, 
I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree which has in it the fruit of a tree yielding seed. I have given it to you, and it shall be for you food. And to every living thing of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creeps upon the earth, which has life in it, there shall be every greenness of herbage for food. And it was so. And God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. We're reading from the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 2. And the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And the seventh day God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because in it he had rested from all his work, which God created to make. Now these are the generations of the heavens and of the earth, when they were created. In that day the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the ground the Lord God caused every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food to grow. The tree of life also was in the middle of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden. And from there it was divided and became four heads. And the name of the first is Pishon, that is it which surrounds all the land of Havilah, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. And there is Delum, and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. It is the same that surrounds the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Hedekel, and that is which goes toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to work it and keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, You may eat freely of every tree of the garden, but you shall not eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every animal of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them to Adam to see what he would call them. And whatever Adam called every living creature, that was the name of it. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowls of the air, and to every animal of the field. But there was not found a helper for Adam. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh in its room. And the Lord God made the rib, which he had taken from the man, into a woman. And he brought her to the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed before one another. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was more crafty than any living thing of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Really, has God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said to the woman, You shall not surely die. For God knows that in the day that you eat of it, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as God knowers of good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasing to the eye, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. And she took of the fruit of it and ate, 
and gave it also unto her husband with her, and he ate. And the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God in the midst of the trees of the garden. And the Lord called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard thy sound in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree which I commanded that you should not eat of it? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? And the woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all the cattle, and more than every animal of the field. You shall go upon your belly, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He will bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. And unto the woman he said, I will greatly increase your sorrow in conception. In pain you shall bring forth children, and your desire shall be toward your husband, and he shall rule over you. And to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree of which I commanded you, saying, Ye shall not eat of it, cursed is the ground for your sake. In pain shall you eat of it all the days of your life. It shall also bring forth thorns and thistles to you, and you shall eat the herb of the field. And in the sweat of your face ye shall eat bread until you return unto the ground. For out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you shall return." And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also, and unto his wife, did the Lord God make coats of skins, and clothe them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man has become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him out from the garden of Eden, to till the ground from which he had been taken. And so he drove out the man, and he placed cherubims at the east of the Garden of Eden, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. This has been Family Bible Reading Fellowship. Each day at this time, we invite you to join with us and read together from God's Word, the Bible. As we unite our hearts in our family Bible reading fellowship.